experience, a hands-on learning experience that a lot of uh, students at universities don't really get to have. It's a great way to get involved. It's a great way to get work published before they graduate. It's good hands-on experience. The more you feel like a team, the better your product is. And I think um, we've experienced that at The Traveler. The Lemke Department of Journalism is kind of the unknown diamond here at the University of Arkansas. Walter J. Lemke founded the Department of Journalism at the University of Arkansas in 1928. It was the first department at the university to be named after any person. His legacy continues not only through the department, but through groups that aid Razorbacks of past and present. The Lemke Society is really an arm of the Arkansas Alumni Association and it is designed to network alumni with students in the Lemke Department of Journalism. And we provide a number of things. We help organize career fairs, we help organize um, J Days uh, panels, and also help um, really develop a nice relationship to help students not only get internships but jobs. I came to the University of Arkansas uh, due to the tradition um, that the school holds. I'm so happy here. Uh, I love Fayetteville. I love the University of Arkansas. I love being a Razorback. It's been one of the greatest things that's ever happened to me. The journalism industry is evolving and so is the Lemke Department of Journalism. While sticking with the basics of what makes a good journalist, they're also adapting to the changing technologies. The faculty is innovative and they also, though, um, hold true to the values of what being a journalist is, which is being a good writer. Really focusing on how journalism as a whole is evolving, and that means um, maintaining um, cutting edge um, techniques um, in the classroom and becoming multimedia faceted for all students. We're entering the 21st century journalism industry. We're not entering yellow journalism of the 1800s. And right now, multimedia is where it's at. That's what's going to earn us jobs, um, and that's those are the skills that we really need to know. When they walk out the door, they're able to not only be good, consistent writers, but also really jump straight in and be prepared for how media is changing. The thing that I stress most and that Cheryl, as our advisor, has encouraged us to stress most is being well-rounded as a journalist. If you're in broadcast, you need to know how to write up the 300 words that's going to go online to go with your story. Or if we're in print, we need to know how to do multimedia pieces. We need to know how to shoot video. We need to know how to operate a camera. Students don't just pass through the journalism department. They become part of the family with instructors guiding students in the right direction. It's kept me happy these four years. I may not fit into every group on campus for sure, but the radio is where I found my niche. Professors use their uh, use all kinds of opportunities to teach and that students really benefit as a result. It starts with the instructors and the professors and I think that we are a caring faculty and that uh, is the most important aspect I think because we not only um, care about our students but our students care about us and I think that it shows in the type of camaraderie that students have between faculty. It's just amazing uh, all the faculty uh, here have have been uh, in in real world uh, in the real world and have had the experience of, of many different jobs, uh, it, whether it be print, uh, broadcast, or advertising. Uh, all of them have su such knowledge, and it's just uh, it's just a great opportunity to get to to learn from the best. I think that we have a really diverse range of professors in our department, which I think has really been good for me as a writer because I think that they all have different teaching styles, which have really influenced me. I can't say, look, I worked in newspapers 25 years, you need me as a friend. I can't do that. Sometimes I would like to, but it doesn't work that way. Uh, some students see the benefit and the value and they, they seek you as a mentor, they seek you as a, as a counselor and as well as whatever they glean from you in, in the classroom. You really get hands-on experience with uh, so many great professors. Uh, I know in the broadcast sequence, I've had uh, a great experience working with uh, like Professor Carpenter. He's, he's had uh, Emmy Awards, and uh, it's, it's, it's been an honor uh, to get to work with, with, so, with everyone in the department. Uh, and, and their knowledge is really, really helps the students, uh, not just in, in their field, but in, in life. The hands-on experience in the journalism department is great because without the Traveler or UATV or the yearbook or, or KXUA, you don't just go to class and book work. That's, that's some of it, but actually doing hands-on work and it'll help me in the future because then I know I have some experience. Every little stepping stone helps. I don't think I could have made a better decision. The class sizes in the Ad PR sequence are fairly small, and it's just a really, um, you really get to know the professors on a personal level, 
because you're working with them so closely. Um, there's about, I think, five professors in the Ad PR sequence, and you have all of them for usually more than one class, and so it really helps to just get to know them, and they get to know you. I think the strongest part of our department is the ability for students to be able to become involved as freshmen and being able to walk into that door the first week of classes and find a place. Now whether that's in um, PRSSA, the Ad Club, the Traveler, the Yearbook, UATV, there's all types of journalist, journalistic outlets for students to become involved. The most important thing at the University of Arkansas and at UATV um, is to get experience. It's available to you. Um, from your first year in here, you can get on-camera experience. You don't get that at every other university. And uh, by just coming down here and showing up, working hard, and uh, being a part of the UATV family um, allows you to take a step in, in the right direction. You're getting um, one step ahead um, by being able to get your hands on the equipment and really fine-tune your skills. So when you walk into a newsroom, you can run all types of equipment and know enough about each of them to do them well. To me it's a family and it's, I spend a lot of time here and I do so many different things with it. For the people who work here I hope that they see it as something that enriched their time at the university and helped them get the education that they came here to get. When I was deciding to come here I remember Professor Foley telling me that what University of Arkansas can offer that other really renowned journalism programs can't is the opportunity to be involved immediately and when it comes to competing for internships when it comes to competing for jobs that's really what counts. I think it helps this department succeed so much is while it's a lot bigger than it was when I was here in, in 1966 through 70 um, it's not so big that we're disconnected from one another. And if I know for a fact there's a student who has a particular skill or capability that matches this scholarship that I see or this fellowship or internship, then I'm gonna approach that student directly and say, this has your name written all over it. You should apply. Or if I know a student has ability and showed that ability last year but is not doing all that uh, he or she can do this year, I'm going to go get in, get in his face and say, you know, you're not doing what you did last year. So I, from a faculty standpoint, I appreciate that. And from a personal standpoint, I appreciate it because that's what a uh, journalism professor named Ernie Dean did for me. He got in my face and grabbed me by the scruff of the neck and said, you know, you're just going to drift right on through here unless you get engaged. And, and that's when I focused and started thinking about a career, not just a job.